Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a character farming guide. Today we are showing you how to farm Superb Taya. So Superb Taya is very easy to farm in that her most powerful monster is 2800 and she runs very scarce removal. So using the skill Elements Unite to get Gate Guardian out on first turn just means your opponent will never be able to finish you or kill you and you're just invincible for the rest of the duel. The only chance she has at killing your Gate Guardian is Voltanus the Adjudicator. Basically how this card works is whenever she activates one of her counter traps she can then destroy her entire monster board and special summon it from her hand and for every monster destroyed she gets to destroy one of your cards. So simply the easiest way to get around this is to never activate any kind of card effects or any trap cards anything like that when your opponent controls a monster. Every turn she'll play one monster you kill it with your gate guardian. Then when she has no monsters on her board you can safely activate your trap cards and stuff even if they do get negated your opponent will never be able to summon this big boy to kill off your Gate Guardian. So that's essentially how you beat Taya. But to farm Taya, you use a simple Gravekeeper's Vassal combo. So you've probably seen this before. Gravekeeper's Vassal allows you to turn all battle damage into effect damage. Combine this with two Union attacks, which add up all attack damage of all monsters on your field into one card, but does not allow it to do battle damage, which is why you use Gravekeeper's Vassal, because it turns into effect damage. Then combine that with Secret Pass the Treasure, which allows you to hit your opponent directly for an absurd amount of damage, one hitting them and getting over that 10k damage mark so you get the points required for farming. This deck also runs Jinzo. This is to make sure that your combo will be able to go through without Tay negating it or somehow stopping it. Basically on your second to last turn you activate Kalingo Claw Crow to special summon that to the board so that you can use that as tribute summon for Jinzo so that your very next turn you can use your combo to one hit your opponent. This deck also runs Counter Counter. This is a card that basically stops your opponent activating counter traps. I suggest you save these to try and make sure that your Jinzo summoning becomes smooth or your combo is smooth in case you make an error somewhere. It's generally good to just keep this around. You can use it just to make sure your draw cards go off so you can draw quickly as if you don't draw quickly, Taya will outdraw you and kill herself before you get to activate your combo. So a couple of tips for this deck. First of all, you do want to make sure you activate at least one good goblin housekeeping during the duel as this makes sure that Jinzo will not be the bottom card in your deck as if he's the bottom card in your deck you're gonna have a bit of trouble. The next tip is that good goblin housekeeping you normally want to target your thunder dragons as when you activate your good goblin housekeeping and send one of your thunder dragons back into your deck you can then activate another thunder dragon to bring that thunder dragon back to your hand. So it's as if you never sent anything back to your deck therefore thinning it out. One thing though that doesn't synergize very well is those two tips that I just gave. So if you do use good golden housekeeping on a Thunder Dragon, make sure you use another one to make sure Jinzo is not on the bottom of your deck. It doesn't really matter too much about making sure Jinzo isn't on the bottom of your deck as it's still a low chance that he is there. But if he is there, it does kind of make the game pretty difficult. The last thing I'm going to give is make sure to watch out for both players deck sizes. This is because first of all you want to make sure you have no cards left in your deck if you can as that will give you the cards on the brink which makes you get more points towards your farming. And secondly you want to make sure that you have two turns left as you don't want to activate a draw card so that you've got no cards left in your deck so you cannot activate Jinzo then wait a turn and activate your Great Keeper's Vassal without decking out. And lastly Taya will quite often draw herself out to the point where she draws so fast it outdraws you and she decks herself out. So you want to make sure you want to kill Taya before she does that. Normally you can get over 8,000 points without having the cards on the brink anyway, especially with the double campaign going on right now. So just make sure to watch out for that. Alright guys, that's much it for the talking part of this video. There will be one gameplay showing this deck in action. I haven't included any more as I don't think you really need any more. It's not very exciting, it's just a farm deck. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. I know this video was kind of short, so I'll probably do another video later this week. Normally I do one to two videos a week. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.